Hey guys, I'm the Illusionist and today I'm going to show you a great and easy magic trick called the Biddle trick and then I'll explain it. So yeah, let's get started. So, the spectators can shuffle the cards as much as they want. Then they pick one. Let's say this one. Look at it. Great. There. And I lost going to say stop whenever they want. Let's say for example there. So I put the card there. Yep. Then I mix them up. And do a few cuts. Like this. Perfect. Do another cut. That's great. And now I'll ask them to cut the deck in half. Like this, for example, and they will hold this in their hand, but as I don't have any spectator, I'll just leave it there on the side. And I think their card is in the top five cards one, two, three, four, five. So if you see it, don't react. Great, I guess you saw it. So I have one, two, three, four, five cards, but look. If I snap my fingers, I only have one, two, three, and four cards. I miraculously, the card disappeared and went in the middle of the deck, upside down. So, isn't it great? I'll be right back for the explanation. So, how does it work? It's actually very simple. First, the spectators shuffle the cards, like this. Then, they pick one, say this one. So the joker, and they say stop whenever they want, let's say there, you put the joker there, and you're going to do a full shuffle. You take one card, two cards, you outdrug the third one, and you continue normally, whoops, like that. You square everything up except for the outdrug card, and you push it in by lifting up, which allows you to catch a pinky break like in the stop shuffle video. Then you cut the deck, like this. And so now, their card is in first position. So now you ask the potatoes to cut the deck in half, like this, and you give them the bottom pile. So right now, they feel like they're controlling the piles because they've chosen where they cut and everything, and they have one, but actually you're controlling everything because you still have the top pile with their card in third position. So now you say, I think your card is in is in the top five cards, so you can so one, two, three, four, five. You turn the five top cards over and you show them like this one, two, and the third card, the Joker. You take it, but you catch a pinky like this. And when you come back with the deck, you steal the Joker and you continue like this, but quickly because you don't want to flash that the card is different. And then you continue with the fifth card, and if you ask them then if they saw their card, and they'll say yes, and why they're saying yes, you put the top pile on the bottom pile like this, and you say I have one, two, three, four, five cards, but actually you have four. So to hide this, what you do is you take the first card, you take the second, but you catch a pinky, you put the deck in your right hand over, you steal it, and you go three, four, five. So now they think you have five cards in your hand and you stack your fingers and you say but look now I ha only have one, two, three and four cards and the card disappeared. We say it's very magical because it disappeared but it actually went upside down in the middle of the deck. So yeah I hope the explanation helped you. Please like, comment and subscribe and so I'll see you next time. Bye!